Hello, hello. I'm Chrissy Martin and I'm here with Chef Doan Shockley. We are going to teach you a little bit today about bottles. Seems fitting, don't you think? It is. We're wine importers. We should talk about wine bottles. We should because it's, it's people look at different bottles and you used to be able to tell the type of wine by looking at the bottle. Very the much so, yes. Learned a little bit these days, but it's important still to kind of know the history of the shapes of the bottles, I think. Definitely. And what we're going to focus on are the three main shapes of a bottle that you're going to see on the shelf. There's always going to be some sort of variation for all of those bottles, but you have three standard bottles. You have the Bordeaux style bottle that has like a much sharper shoulder. It's a taller bottle. You've got your Burgundies which is something you would find a lot of Pinot Noirs in. It's gonna have this softer, sloping shoulder going down. And then your champagne style bottles, it's gonna have that same sloping shoulder, but a much fatter base and a much stronger punt. So, speaking of the punt, we should probably talk about the different parts of the bottle too. Mm -hmm. I mean, for most people, you get a bottle of wine and you just, you open it and you drink it. But if you were curious to know what all these parts are, we'll tell you. So let's start with the punt because I think that just especially on a champagne bottle is really important. From what I was learning um, back when I first started the business was that that was actually more function than anything else. It wasn't necessarily for the sediment in a champagne bottle. It was so it didn't explode. It would be a much stronger bottle. If you have a bigger punt, you have a stronger bottle. Yeah, and with all the carbon and stuff that's in your bubblies. <clears throat> don't want it to explode on you and it also you know now today we have a factory and they make these bottles oh. but back then they didn't so if you didn't have that punt in there it was going to be somewhat of a wobbly bottle oh. and it wasn't going to you know it's not something you have to really worry about anymore oh. but, but in older red wines it was there also to collect the sediment so when you poured it yes. out it would collect around the, the ring instead of being flat on the bottom it was easier to pour yeah and you got less sediment they really thought of everything you know they shaped the bottles so that they could be laid on their side to keep the cork wet that's why they all have some sort of a shoulder to them but you're right they knew you were going to stand that bottle up for a little bit before you drank it so they left you that punt in there so that it could collect the sediment and you wouldn't actually have it floating around in your glass so it's very simple you work your way up the bottle um, from the punt which is the hole in the bottom to the body to the neck to the cork um, I always have a hard time with the space between the wine and the cork. Called the eulage. 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 That's a hard one for me to and say. And typically it should be pretty small, but as a wine ages, yeah. it might get bigger and bigger. But if you have a very young wine with a very big eulage, it could be indicative of a problem. So if you grab yeah. a bottle at the liquor store and the wine levels down here, it, the Don't cork might be leaking. <laughs> Don't buy it. No. And if you bought a really expensive bottle and you're saving it forever and ever, pay attention to that spot on the bottle yeah. because if it really gets into the shoulder of the bottle down yeah. here, you really do want to go ahead and open yeah. it because it's not going to be worth anything by the time you get around to it. Yeah. So, any other bottle things you can we think of? Um, the only other shape that I used to think about was going over here. Oh, like your the, Riesling. The Mosul shape. Yeah. And it was primarily a Riesling and if you saw the tall skinny bottle, you knew you are probably going to be drinking sweet wine. Yeah. But there again, this one happens to be a Pinot Grigio which definitely is not sweet. It's not from <laughs> Germany, so it doesn't fit the style. But, but definitely that shape of bottle used to tell bottle, you that. You know, and they're getting wavy bottles. I've seen some crazy bottles out there these days. So They do. They have fun with it. As you should, too. Yes. So, um, should have fun with your wine. Have fun with your bottles. Visit us um, on Facebook or Twitter. And uh, Uncork an Adventure. Have a great day. Ciao. Cheers.